So this is an example of using the Alcon Flex Loop to help with an epiretinal membrane peel. I like to stain with ICG for epiretinal membranes because I feel like it's really important to get the internal end of the membrane up underneath or behind the uh, epiretinal membrane to prevent recurrence. And so after completing the core vitrectomy, I use this Alcon Flex Loop. It's replaced the Tano brush in many instances. Now, two main things here. First of all, you can see this patient is breathing a lot and there's a lot of eye movement, yet the retina never goes out of focus. The flex loop is really nice because if you do have a patient that has a lot of movement, pinching and peeling the ILM or epiretinal membrane can be dangerous. So using this flex loop actually to create an edge that's then elevated off of the retina just gives you that added bit of safety. And you can see I can extend the flex loop or I can move the flex loop a little more in depending on how much stiffness I want. Now I get my in-grasping forceps and I'm able to safely grab this ILM and peel it over into the epiretinal membrane using those forceps peeling the ILM out around the area and through the area to make sure we don't have any recurrence. And in this case, because of the lamellar macular hole, I did an air fluid exchange. Should give the flex loop a try. It can be a very useful tool for starting membrane peels. Thanks for watching.